good morning dear students i hope you have learned the previous topics and you had seen the video regarding the contraction and expansion in demand as well as shift of the demand curve now today we will be learning about cross demand cross demand refers to the relationship between the demand of a given commodity and the price of related commodities now you all know that related commodities are substitute goods and complementary goods substitute goods which can be replaced for the others and complementary goods which are used with the other product cross demand indicates how much quantity of a given commodity will be demanded at different prices of the related products that is either the substitute goods or the complementary goods you can see on your screen also it can be expressed as demand of commodity x is the function of price of commodity y price of commodity y means price of a substitute good or a price of a complementary good so with the price of supplementary good uh, sorry complementary good or the substitute good the demand of our own good is affected you can just see on the screen i'll send you the uh, pdf of this study material also so cross demand can either be positive or it can be negative it is positive in case of substitute good as the demand of the given commodity varies directly with the price of substitute good if the price of a substitute good rises demand of our own commodity will decrease and we had learned this in the class also cross demand becomes negative this happens in case of complementary goods as demand for the given commodity will be inversely affected with the price of complementary goods cross price effect on the demand curve now what happens to the demand curve with this cross price effect this cross price effect refers to the effect on the demand curve of a commodity due to the change in the price of the related commodity so for let us take the example of ball pen and ink pen demand for the ball pen will increase or decrease with the change in the price of a gel pen so this means cross price effect originates from the substitute goods as well as the complementary goods let's understand this effect of a given commodity with the change in price of a substitute good and the complementary good <coughs> now you can see on your screen change in the price of substitute good what will happen if the price of substitute good increases if the price of substitute good increases the price uh, the demand of our own commodity will decline with the price of substitute good for example tea or coffee for example ink pen or a gel pen what will happen if the price of this substitute good rises demand for the given commodity will <coughs> the demand for the given commodity will also rise as at the same price of the good it is uh, it will shift to the right, right what you can just see in the demand curve effect of demand curve due to increase in the price of substitute good price of the other good is rising and the good which we are demanding demand for it will increase you can see on your screen also see now how this demand curve which was originally dd it has shifted to d1 d1 now why it is shifting because the price of a substitute good it has increased so we will be demanding the product which we want what will happen if the if there is a decrease in the price of substitute good obviously if the price of a substitute good will decrease we will start demanding the product which is cheaper you can see this also and the demand curve will shift downward this way it has shifted from dd to d1 d1 demand curve of a given commodity for example tea or a ball pen or gel pen it has shifted from dd to d1 d1 that is downward or leftward due to the change in the price of substitute good now what will happen if the change in the price of complementary good takes place increase or decrease in the price of complementary good will inversely affect the demand of a commodity if the price of complementary good increases see now the price of complementary good is increasing <clears throat> and the demand curve of let us suppose the commodity t 
it has shift downward because the price of a complementary good sugar and tea they are complementary goods so these compl because they are used together with each other if the price of one good will increase the demand for the other good will decrease and be, even if the price of the good in demand it remains the same so this is moving downwards or leftwards you can just practice at home these figures and you will be very easily able to understand now what will happen if the price of complementary good it declines this is the effect demand curve of the given commodity it will increase if the price of complementary good declines just see when the price declines the demand rises and same happens with the complementary goods now let us see what is the difference between normal goods and inferior goods normal goods refer to those goods whose demand increases with the increase in income if my income keeps on increasing i'll keep on demanding for the goods so these goods are normal goods for me and most of the commodities that we usually call as normal goods are the superior goods and the general practice says that a consumer buys more of such goods when the income rises so uh, the income curve see this is not price curve price curve uh, you saw that the law of demand the demand curve is downward sloping but here you can see that demand curve is upward sloping because we are relating the income with the demand of a commodity so here price and demand are not depicted this is depicting the income and demand and the demand curve becomes the upward sloping curve when it is compared with the income in case of a normal good now in case of inferior goods these are those goods whose demand decreases with the increase in income if the income of a consumer changes they will start demanding for the superior products and not the inferior products and here therefore you can just see in the curve demand curve when we relate the income with the demand of a commodity for the inferior goods with the increase in income demand keeps on expanding sorry with the increase in income we will start declining the demand of such commodities because they are inferior to us we will start demanding more of the superior products in the diagram it is depicted demand of inferior good let us say the black and white tv falls when what will happen when the income of a consumer increases from y to y1 this income is increasing and the demand is declining from q to q1 because now the consumer will be demanding more of the product which is of a superior quality so this that's it for today learn the concept of cross demand that is the demand how the demand is affected with the change in the price of substitute good and the complementary good and learn the income curves uh, the demand curve when the income of a consumer changes for the normal goods as well as for inferior goods thank you everybody